Adequate titration of volatile anesthetics is essential for ensuring unconsciousness, immobility, and blunting of adrenergic responses, which are all crucial aspects of general anesthesia in patients. In this review published in Anesthesiology, the authors discuss the concept of MAC. MAC is a measurement of potency of an anesthetic. It is traditionally defined as minimum alveolar concentration. Using this definition, MAC indicates that the concentration of a volatile anesthetic at 1 ATM at equilibrium that results in a 50-50 probability of movement or no movement in subjects exposed to a standardized noxious stimulus. The review also discusses the concept of FMAC, or the fraction of a MAC that is administered. The review explains how proper understanding of the concept of MAC, FMAC, and age-adjusted FMAC may help clinicians titrate volatile anesthetics. The review suggests aiming for probabilities of greater than or equal to 99.99%, 95%, and 85% for unconsciousness, immobility, and blunting of adrenergic responses respectively. A steady-state FMAC greater than or equal to 0.7 is proposed as the cutoff value. In the absence of a steady state, using hysteresis corrected FMAC may help ensure unconsciousness or altered consciousness without explicit recall, the most critical requirements of general anesthesia, while avoiding severe overdosing. However, the probabilistic nature of FMAC means that it cannot be used with certainty to predict stimulus response suppression in an individual. Volatile anesthetics combined with opioids continue to be the most widely used drugs to maintain general anesthesia. Age-adjusted FMAC derived from end-tidal anesthetic partial pressure measurement remains a useful drug advisory display to help prevent awareness if interpreted with proper understanding of the quantal and probabilistic nature of MAC, semantics, drug interactions, and hysteresis. For better clarity, the review suggests that MAC be redefined as the median alveolar concentration.